Hi there, it's me, Lisa Lillian, also known as Hungry Girl. I am here in my kitchen, la cocina, if you speak Spanish. How do you say kitchen in French? I don't know, I am in my kitchen. Um, I decided to let the cat out of the bag, and so the title of today's video actually says what I'm making. Sometimes I don't do that, but I'm making French toast in a mug. We've got French toast in a Dateline mug, which makes the French toast extra delicious and extra murderous. But um, it's, it's a low calorie, healthy French toast that I think you're gonna love. I am, no, I'm not making striped French toast. That was very funny. Who is, who is in there as Hungry Girl? <laughs> who is talking to me as Hungry Girl? Is that Jamie? Um, anyway, I'm not making striped French toast or rainbow French toast, but the other day when I said it was hot out, and boy, is it hot out today, people were like, well, why are you always in long sleeves? And I'm like, because it's cold in my house. But I just figured I would put on short sleeves so you know that I do have arms, and I thought this shirt was cute. So here I am. I am making French toast in a mug. I have, watch this. Hold on. I'm not using this mug to make it, but because I'm making something in a mug, I'm going to be giving away a Hungry Girl mug tonight. So if you want a chance to win this Hungry Girl mug, this is what you need to do. You need to click like or love on this video because hopefully you like or love it. And you need to share a French toast memory with me. So tell me why you like French toast, why you wanna win. Thank you for liking my hair. Um, why you wanna win it and why you think you deserve this mug um, and also why you like French toast and maybe like a French toast memory. For me, like I, when I was a kid, I loved to go out and order French toast. Not as much as pancakes, but I liked French toast. What do you think? Is French toast better than pancakes? I don't know. Lawrence fell asleep. What'd you say? She's what like, you what'd you say? say? So I'm not, all right, I'm not starting yet because there's not enough people here, but Lauren, I wanna, I wanna show Lauren's makeup because Lauren's a makeup artist. First of all, I am quarantined with my niece Lauren who is a makeup artist and yet she does not do my makeup. What is wrong I with this picture? She says, I could do it. Come here and look at her beautiful makeup. I wanna show you her beautiful makeup. She's being really slow. I don't, yes, you have to. It's like you're a snail. All right, but I am giving away this mug tonight and I am making French toast in a mug. There she is. Come on. I can't see it. Look at that. Look at the eyeballs. <laughs> look at those lids. Gorgeous. All right, there she is. So I'm giving away a mug, a Hungry Girl mug, but I'm using a Dateline mug tonight to make my French toast in a mug. My French toast in a mug is going to have two points no matter what color your Weight Watchers plan is, okay? If it's purple, if it's blue, if it's green, if it's rainbow, like my shirt, two points for this fabulous recipe. Um, what else can I tell you? All right, French toast is really easy to make even in a skillet, but if you just are feeling a little bit kind of lazy and you just want to use your microwave, this is a great recipe. Now, this is a twist on a fantastic Hungry Girl recipe that I already had made up. We had this in rotation for a while. This one is for apple French toast in a mug. So tonight, instead of using regular old apples, I am using my red hot apple pie in a mug apples. So I made these apples, I think two days ago by chopping up an apple and microwaving it with some red hot candies. And you can do so many things with these and they're delicious, but I'm using this for my French toast. The apples that you can use for your French toast, just cut a couple of little pieces. You don't need to peel your whole apple, throw it in the microwave for like a minute or two just to soften the chopped apples and keep them aside, and you're gonna use those for your French toast. They make your French toast better. Tracy, thank you for liking my shirt. Okay, now, we're gonna get ready for our French toast in a mug by starting with egg beaters. You could use two large egg whites or a quarter cup of egg beaters, and you just put that in your mug. If you're not lucky enough to have a Dateline mug, I'm sorry, but I love my Dateline mug. Um, next up, I'm gonna put in one sweetener packet. I love Truvia. Don't forget to tell us your French toast story so you could be eligible to win a Hungry Girl mug. Truvia packet, half teaspoon of cinnamon. I love to use this Watkins cinnamon. I love cinnamon. A dash of salt, la la la. Two tablespoons of unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Are you guys appreciating the fact that my packages are now not backwards? Just my hair, my parted hair is backwards. 
Uh, you're gonna use two tablespoons of this. And by the way, if you like this recipe and other recipes, you should sign up for Hungry Girls Daily Emails. We're about to have our sweet 16, 16th anniversary of Hungry Girl Daily Emails, so it's pretty incredible. So, okay, we got our mug, we have our egg in there, we've got our dash of salt, our cinnamon, our Are you doing anything for blah, blah, blah. Today? Oh, yes, I am. I bet Jamie asked that question. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Wait till you see what we're doing for Taco Tuesday on Tuesday. It's an upside down taco bowl. Okay, so you're gonna mix this up. If you are feeling super fancy, you can use one of these frothers. Do you have a frother like this? If not, you can get them on Amazon, they're amazing. You could just froth it up, which gets it all nice and mixedy. Mixedy. That's my favorite word, all right. <laughs> So we're gonna put that in there. This is the egg and the almond milk without sweetener, the cinnamon, the, the whatever, the dash of salt. We good. Why do you add a dash of salt? Because everything, who, did somebody really ask that? Jamie. Listen to me. Oh, Jamie. <laughs> Jamie! Um, yeah, because anytime you make something that's a little sweet, a dash of salt is gonna make it taste better. It brings out the sweetness, it makes it taste better. That's the bottom line. Next up, we need the bread. So. I like to use light bread. I have to be honest, usually I get bread that has 40 or 45 calories a slice. During this whole pandemic thing, that has been harder for me to find, so I have recently fallen in love with Dave's Good Seed Thinly Sliced Bread. This bread happens to have 70 calories a slice. My recipe really calls for a 40 to 45 calorie bread, so if you use this Dave's bread, it's gonna have more than the 150 calories, You'll, it'll be closer to 200 calories, still a great deal. So you're gonna, can you see me slicing this bread? I have a giant bread knife. Are you nervous? <laughs> um, I'm gonna cut this bread into like one inch cubes or something like that. But the Dave's Killer bread is so good. There are so many seeds in it. Like, I just love it. All right, so we're gonna cut this bread up like so. I'm gonna put this knife away. No need to be nervous. Now we're gonna take our little uh, egg batter mixture and you're gonna throw the bread into it like so. I'm gonna show you what it looks like because then we're gonna mix it around. Okay, we're gonna mix, 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 mix. Do you see, can you see in the mug? Can you see in my Dateline mug? <laughs> okay, I'm not giving away my Dateline mug, but tonight I am giving away a Hungry Girl mug. If you want to win a Hungry Girl mug, leave us a comment about your greatest French toast experience, or at least a, any French toast experience you've had. So here I've got the two slices of light, of light bread. Yeah, yeah, and Dave's bread is the best. Now we're going to put in, this is two tablespoons of chopped softened apple. My apple looks this way because I was using my red hot apple pie in a mug apples. And if you don't know what that means, you have to search for a video that I made like a couple of weeks ago here on Facebook, where I made these red hot apple pie in a mug apples. But you don't have to be as fancy as I was. You could use whatever apple you have in the house that's been pre-softened. All right, now you're gonna put your French toast in a mug in the microwave. I have a Hello Kitty microwave. You're gonna have to take my word for it. You're gonna put it in for about a minute. After a minute, we're gonna look at it. We're gonna like take it out. We're gonna mix it up a little, stir it. Then we're gonna put it back in and have it set for the last like 45 seconds. But you really have to like, just pay attention to it. When you have a microwave, they're all sort of different levels of heat. Like people, there's different levels of hotness to your microwave. <laughs> so if you have like a super hot microwave, it might cook faster than if you have a microwave, say from 1999 with Hello Kitty on it from the mall that cost $30. So mine's a little slower than yours probably. I have another microwave, but it's, it's high up and I have to like stand on my little tippy toes to reach it, which I don't think you need to see. So that's that. So now it's in the microwave. It's been in probably for a good 30 or 45 seconds. Do you have questions for me? Are you excited about winning this mug? The other day someone was like, less talking. And I was like, ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm just being me. Um, there's the mug. You can win this. If you want to win this, tell me why. Tell us your French toast stories. There's and lots of stories. 
Oh good, I can't wait to read them. This is what I'm gonna do. I go to sleep at like nine. I wake up in the middle of the night, I can't sleep, and then I read the comments. And usually I comment back and I say like, sorry I talk so much, or thank you, you made my day, or thank you for liking my shirt. All right, we're gonna take, we're gonna take a peek here now. I love these stores, it smells good. Wow, it's so yummy. You really can't buy the Hungry Girl mug, I have to say, right now. It's not buyable, but I give it away. So it's starting to look good, it's starting to set. Ooh, look at the smoke. I'm gonna put that back in. I gave it a little whirl. It's gonna go back in for about 40, <laughs> Jamie, more talking, thanks. <laughs> thanks, Jamie. <laughs> um, it's gonna go back in for about another 45 seconds, or however long your microwave takes to set that. Now, when you are done with your French toast, this recipe is so low in calories that you can add little extras, like special little touches to make it even better. I like to use Carrie's sugar-free syrup, just a little touch of that, or a little bit of Lander Lake's light whipped butter. It just makes everything taste more delicious, I have to be honest. But you don't have to put anything on it because it's sweet and delicious and yummy as it stands. So let's, should we, should we take a look and see how it's doing? Hopefully it's set. Has that been 45 seconds? Talking really, uh, it's, you have to fill a lot of time. Okay. Ooh, this looks pretty done. Okay, this is pretty done. Please, first of all, is that not beautiful? Is that not gorgeous? Dana Miller wants to know how many steps I've walked today. So far, 28,000. I have a few more thousand to go, but I'm not going outside tonight because it's too hot. First of all, look at this. If you like this, hearts, send lots of hearts. Could you see in that mug? First of all, hearts for a date life. This is gonna be my breakfast tomorrow because I ate this already for breakfast today because sometimes I make the recipes in the morning just to make sure that they work perfectly. So there it is. Who would say you talk too much? <laughs> Thank you, Karen. Anyway, this is it. This is the French toast in a mug. Uh, depending on the bread you use, it has about 150 calories. Mine has closer to 200 because I use Dave's Killer Bread. Yes, I like to add a little bit of the Carrie's syrup. Love it. Um, if you want to... Whip cream and chocolate whip, chips. Whipped cream and chocolate chips, you could. Or you could do raisins. Do whatever the heck you want. Quarantine your way. This is what I always say. These are like uh, their ideas. I hope they inspire you. I hope they make you feel like you can be creative in the kitchen and that you can find new ways to use the items that you have. Again, you're gonna probably see this recipe show up in a daily email with variations in the next couple weeks. If you don't get the Hungry Girl daily emails, you should sign up for the daily emails because they are like the heart and soul of Hungry Girl and I've been sending them out since 2004. And there's also, as you know, Hungry Girl Magazine, Hungry Girl Books, Hungry Girl Podcast, which comes out every Wednesday. And tonight you have the chance to win the Hungry Girl mug if you tell us your stories. We wanna hear your stories, okay? Do you have any other questions about the French toast? Because I have a feeling I should recap what is in this mug, right? Recap? Yeah. We're gonna recap. Started with a quarter cup of egg beaters. We had a sweetener packet. We had a half teaspoon of cinnamon, a dash of salt. You mix, mix, mix with two tablespoons of this lovely unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Then, I took this bread. You could take any light bread. You're really better off finding bread that has about 40 or 45 calories a slice, but I have become obsessed with Dave's Killer Bread, thinly sliced 70 calorie good seed bread. I cut it into one inch cubes, I mixed it around. I, add some, I added a few chopped apples, two tablespoons to be exact. I put it in the microwave. For about a minute, I let it set. I mixed it and then let it set for about 45 minutes or so. Tell, I mean 45 seconds. Jeez, tell me how you do 28,000 steps. Usually I do 30,000 steps because I don't stop walking. I walk around when I'm on meetings, I walk around the house, I walk around the kitchen, I walk around like a loon. Anyway, this is it. Uh, coming up, Taco Tuesday. This Tuesday, it's gonna be a great Facebook Live. I'm gonna be drinking a margarita. I'm gonna tell you how to make the margarita. I am going to be featuring products by Ortega, who is gonna be sponsoring. Um, they have the best Mexican items, taco sauces, shells, blah, blah, blah. Doing a Hungry Girl recipe of an, an upside down taco bowl, which is great. Uh, someone said, what was orange in the mug? 
Oh, those are my red hot apples. Those were apples that had been melted with red hots. So uh, if you don't have red hots, you could just use regular apples or apples and cinnamon. Anyway, so that's coming up for Taco Tuesday, which will help you celebrate Cinco de Mayo uh, at home, which is where we'll all be probably on Cinco de Mayo. Yep. All right, any questions? How do you pre-soften the apples? I chop them, I put them in a mug, and put them in the microwave for about a minute or a minute and a half. Jamie's excited about the tacos. Yes, Taco Tuesday, be here. I'm also going to be doing, all right, here's what's upcoming. Are you ready? I'm going to be making a special rice cake drizzled dessert extravaganza. I'm going to do more coffee drinks because the last coffee drink I did was so popular. Let me know what you want to see in the way of coffee. And um, I'm going to do a little blueberry pie situation for Blueberry Pie Day. So there it is. What time Tuesday? Taco Tuesday is going to be 5 p.m. Pacific time. This is my French toast in a mug and my Dateline mug, and I think I have to go now because I have really nothing else to say. <laughs> I'm fresh out of words. So please make this tomorrow. Let me know what you think. Sign up for the emails. Stay home, stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands, sanitize. I'm Lisa Lillian, also known as Hungry Girl. Till next time, chew the right thing.